Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Can you tell out of this pile of silver which ones are fake? You'll know here in a moment, so let's explore. <laughs> There are several coins in this pile that are not real. Now, I'm going to be referencing an Instagram post as shared with me by CyberCurrent Twitter, which I think was quite eye-opening. And this video serves as a warning and an alert because a coin dealer has bought dozens of fake silver, Morgan, and Peace dollars. And we're going to talk about how you can protect yourself from buying fake silver coins in this video. Now, there's a lot of different uh, types of silver coins that are out there. And tracking all of them is very difficult. But there are some very easy tests that you can do. And we're going to do those tests here in a moment. But let's get to this story because this just happened. Um, from Long Island Coin on Instagram... He had a post here about uh, this big deal of circulated Morgan and Peace dollars that got offered to him at the Cromwell show. The trouble is, is that all of those coins are counterfeit. And uh, if you look at the posting, you can see, and they look pretty good. You know, they look like, you know, circulated Morgan dollars in this particular post, but there was others that were sent to him as well that were Peace, likely dozens. So the counterfeit circulator coins, including many better dates, another dealer had bought these for a, quote, good price. A good price. Take a closer look at these, at these here and see if you can pick out which ones are fake and which ones are real. You got them for a good price. You know, and that's just it. That's the first indication there uh, that this could be suspect. If somebody offers them to you at a good price, and even a dealer, you know, they may sense, well, okay, this is a great deal. I'm going to to um, take advantage of this deal and, and uh, maybe profit from this. And that should be the first clue there when you get a, quote, good price. And then this dealer wanted to pass them along at the coin show to another dealer and sell them and, you know, make out okay with them. But even a $5 a coin for Carson City dollars is too much especially when they're not real. They are not even silver. Indeed, you know, you can get a nice Carson City that is made of silver. Um, I guess somebody could create one and make it out of 90% silver, but you know, you really don't see very often of those. In fact, as far as counterfeit coins made of the actual precious metal, the most famous example is the Omega uh, St. Gaudens coins. And uh, that, they were such good copies made in the United States, and they actually sell for a lot more than actual uh, Morgan dollars uh, or actual St. Gaudens coins. But nonetheless, it's pretty pretty remarkable to see uh, these coins on this Instagram post and how good they look. You know, these are nice fakes, but there are ways to be able to tell the difference between them. Um, and of course, if they're not silver, that's another way. Have you figured out which one of these is fake and which ones are real I'll give you a hint most of the coins that you look that are that you see before you here are real there's only two that are fake but nonetheless it's good to pay attention uh, this dealer this part-time dealer got them from a private collector and he lacked the knowledge to protect himself and it maybe even isn't so much that. Uh, according to this Instagram post by Long Island Coin, it may just be that he was lazy and didn't take the time to really uh, examine these closely. But, you know, that's just it. You got to take the time. You got to take the time to do the work to so that you can protect yourself when you look at these coins. There's dozens of these things. And one way to be able to tell, and you can kind of see this here in this photograph, and these photographs is they are packaged very differently than you would package uh, Morgan dollar, I mean, Morgan and Peace dollars. And that is a second clue before you even take them out. These are Chinese fakes, folks, and the Chinese have gotten really good 
at faking um, silver coins. And uh, so that is one reason, by the way, why I do not buy any Chinese coins of, from the bullion, from the four mints from China anymore, and the gold and silver coins. Uh, the new year of issues, I don't. If, they're, if they are secondary market pieces and there's a good deal, I might buy them. But otherwise, I avoid Chinese coins in general as a protest because they are not doing anything to stop these counterfeits that are just bleeding through into the markets. And these are examples. And this is a case where common sense should rule the day. And this part-time dealer, though he's part-time, should have known better. And uh, but nonetheless, there they are. And it's fascinating. They have these interesting blister packs and they're packaged together in sheets. And these are circulated Morgan dollars. No, they don't come that way. That's for sure. So there's two clues here. Two clues that, that they're fake. Number one is the good price. If it's too good to be true in terms of a deal, it likely is. And now we're into this video. Have you been able to pick out which one of these coins is fake and which ones are real? Well, again, likely we'll take a look here and I'll let you know here momentarily. Um, so packaging and price uh, and then obviously looking at them, examining them physically is another way to do. How does a coin look when you hold it in your hand? How does it feel in the hand? Uh, silver, um, believe it or not, is a more dense metal than copper or copper alloys. And so it should reflect that uh, when you hold it in the hand. This Morgan dollar is pretty hefty in the hand. And it's got some wear to it and like, and, uh, you know, because of circulation. And that is one clue also, typically, where can be faked um, in some of these pieces. So to keep that in mind, too. But there are, you can find plenty of, of Morgan and Peace dollars that are almost uncirculated as well, too. In fact, if you find almost uncirculated uh, silver dollars, and likely, they're more likely to be real because the patina that is put on some of these fakes is done uh, fairly well, fairly decently to make it look convincing. And so it causes you not to really question. So it may not necessarily even be uh, a way of, you know, being unknowledgeable. It's about being lazy. But you have to look, you have to think about common sense and you have to do the due diligence, especially if something seems to be a good deal whenever you, you go to make a purchase, especially a bulk purchase like that. So how can you protect yourself? Well, again, look at the coins. Uh, look at how they're packaged. And in this case, the packaging definitely would have set a red flag up for me as somebody who I feel that knows a little bit about coins um, and how Morgan dollars come. They don't come in blister packs, that's for sure. The circulated Morgan dollars do not come in blister packs. But there's other ways to do it. Now, obviously, you can you can spend a fair amount of money to get a precious metals verifier, but you really don't need to for most coins out there. You don't need to spend the money for that. There are other ways to be able to test your silver. And one way to do it is the Cyber Curtain Twitcher, the CCT Silver Slide. This is the Silver Slide, and it's been in production for, for quite a while. And you can get it from Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Um, and it's also available on eBay. And I'll post a link in the description below for this uh, particular uh, slide that you can get. And what it is, it's a, it is a handcrafted uh, piece that has new demon magnets in it. And you can slide this silver down this piece in order to see um, its diamagnetic properties. So, for instance, you can see that silver slides slow, and fake silver will slide faster. Now let's take one of these Morgan dollars here. Ah, look at that. This one virtually stops, and that's because it is highly magnetic. Well, it's magnetic enough that it causes that stop. So, when you take a regular Morgan dollar, or regular silver dollar here, let's take another Morgan dollar and slide it down. Uh, you can see that it slides slowly. It's that eddy current that causes it to slide down slowly. Now, obviously, if you have a really good um, numismatic, like a CC uh, Morgan dollar, I would not recommend using the CCT slide as even though it has a nice felt 
smooth surface here, um, there are chances that it could cause some light abrasions. So basically use this uh, solely to test the, um, the, uh, test the properties of the silver. So for regular issue Morgan and Peace dollars, typically it's fine. So we found our first fake Morgan uh, dollar here. And this one actually is marked as fake, as copy there, as you can see there. And uh, that, that being a fine copy here, this is actually a piece that you can get for the next method that we're going to test. So for that is the, the uh, this is the pocket pinger, a sound money metals. And this is a great device to be able to test sound. So you can have the, uh, the diamagnetic properties being tested with the CCT slide, but this is another non-destructive way. And this one, as long as you're very careful, uh, you will be able to test in a non-destructive manner most of your silver pieces. So there we have this, and we're gonna test a genuine piece dollar here. And we can see that if we place it in there with the rubberized uh, grips on the piece, there are ways to flip it. You can use your finger to flip against the backdrop here. And you can hear that ring. Now, if you want to get a little louder sound, you can use the, the stack stick. This is nice. You can you just tap on it like this. Just lightly on the edge. And you will see that it is indeed genuine silver. What does a fake peace dollar sound like? A few of you, those of you who looked and guessed correctly, this is indeed the fake peace dollar. We can put that in here. Grip it down and tap it. Much higher ring to it. Much higher distinct ring. But genuine silver, has it just sings. Much more robust ring to the, to the uh, tone of a genuine piece dollar there. So there you have it. You have the Cyber Curtain Twitcher Silver Slide. You've got the Pocket Pinger. The Pocket Pinger, I, I have a link that you can use to purchase this. It's an affiliate link. And um, for those of you who are interested in the Pocket Pinger, I will post a link to purchase these uh, in the comment section below. You can also get, as uh, uh, a test method, you can get fake uh, piece in Morgan dollars and other coins as well, too. They have half dollars and gold coins that you, you can use to kind of check to see what it sounds like compared to the genuine. You can also get the pocket stick as well. It's a great invention for not a lot of money, and it's a way to be able to test your silver using Sonics, using audio. And so there you go. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.